Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born but built for theme parks and welcome to this theme park trip review. This is from of course the first day of the season at Black Bull Pleasure Beach. I was thinking of uploading a travel vlog, but I just, I was just so tired, man. I just, <laughs> oh, man. I, you know, think of the trek that some people have done. I'm one of those people. Like, I took three trains there and back to get, to get to the Pleasure Beach yesterday. 11 till 5, park opening, and then traveling all the way back till about quarter to ten at night so you can imagine how tired I was um, coming back last night <laughs> still a bit tired now I'm still over tired today um, but I'm trying to push through this trip review um, you know because obviously there were some 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 bright sparks from this trip um, so a load of bright sparks from this trip this has been one of my favorite theme park trips for a long time um, obviously I was hanging around most of the day if not pretty much all the day with uh, Kieran, Archie, Jack Silkstone, all the lads, um, you know, they were brilliant company, you know, it was great to hang around with Jack and that, and, um, you know, spend the day with them, lovely people, and uh, obviously some other people throughout the day as well, Pleasure Beach Experience, Theme Park Worldwide, um, saw Coaster Dan, um, Park Spill was just in front of me in the queue for infusion, so I said a quick hello to him and saw him around the uh, Log Flume Takeover. The Log Flume Takeover was brilliant, by the way. Uh, when we saw uh, Pleasure Beach Experience Log Flume Takeover at 1 o'clock, uh, that was pretty good. Um, yeah, some big highlights from this trip. Obviously, first driver ride on Icon. You guys know my thoughts on that. I will go a bit more in depth into a, into a Coast Shell review. I was going to do it on location, but. Um, decided not to I, th I, I think it was because of the rain at that point I was aiming to film it later in the day towards the end but um, yeah we just didn't really you know have the the time uh, and the weather really definitely picked up the pace so uh, we didn't exactly have that on our side uh, for ha at least half the day um, but yeah Icon fantastic attraction loved it after two rides on it one at the front one in the middle I've still got to experience the back row I'll probably do that in the summer when Valhalla opens uh, and big one and Grand National are ready but um, yeah still got to do the back row still got to do the the Enso spinning seat in the summer as well so hopefully go back to Blackpool Pleasure Beach in the summer um, fingers crossed but um, Icon for me I think it's my number one coaster. I think it is my new, new one, number one. Number one. Um, I think it just tops Wicker Man uh, and tops Nemesis by a little bit as well. So I think after the Nemesis refurbishment, I think it may shoot up back to number two, maybe even number one. Uh, but Icon for me at the moment is my number one coaster. It was just fantastic all around. Gave it a good nine out of 10. After the middle of the row experience and the second ride, the last ride of the day, I'd probably give it about nine and a half out of ten instead of nine because uh, it was brilliant. I usually don't give half, so I still round it up to about nine-ish out of ten. But uh, you know, just that little bit away from being ten. Um, but yeah, Icon, fantastic. Second round of the day was Avalanche. Uh, I thought that was all right. I think it did look li nicely painted. I think they repainted the outside of the track so and little bits around the area. So, you know, it's nice to see Avalanche all nicely painted up. Uh, Avalanche was fantastic as well. Uh, like I said, it was it was brilliant. A um, little bit of a rattle. I'm not gonna lie, when you sat at the front, sat, um, you know, when we had the second round in Avalanche with me, Jack, and Archie and the lads and that. Um, you know, I was in the sort of towards the back, so I sort of didn't get that rattle, but I was definitely being thrown around the snake turns, etc., uh, with that back row experience. But uh, the front row definitely there was a little bit of a rattle, but not an uncomfortable rattle. This is the difference here. It wasn't one of those uncomfortable rattles on a coaster like when you see with, you know, Infusion. I'll get onto Infusion in a bit, but there was no rattle on Infusion, trust me, uh, from my experience anyway. Um, but with. Uh, avalanche on the front row it wasn't uncomfortable it wasn't an uncomfortable rattle I think it was just uh, just a uh, uh, you know it was one of those it was like one of those bumpy rattles so for me it wasn't an uncomfortable one it was sort of a bumpy one 
Um, then the third ride was Nickelodeon Streak. Uh, obviously, great classic wooden roller coaster. Um, one of the only coasters in the world, I would think, that you're allowed to have your bags in between your legs and in, in the in the car. <laughs> uh, classic. You gotta love the classics, haven't you? The classic roller coaster, uh, first opening decades and decades ago. Um, you know, must have been nearly 100 years ago now. Um, it, it was. Oh God, that ride was brilliant. Brilliant as always, um, you know, classic wooden ghoster. Um, and yeah, Infusion. Infusion was one of the biggest surprises on the day because that had no uncomfortable headaches, no uncomfortable rattles. It had some great forces. I don't know what they've done to it, whether they've profiled the track, whether they've done some diff something different to the wheels or the trains or something. Something's been done to make that better. I don't know what, but something's been done. And I think it was a fantastic ride experience. Um, you know, got to... Uh, <laughs> didn't get the chance to do Skyforce in the end. Um, but I did get to do some... I don't know what... It, it, I mean, this trip review will be out, I think, before Jack Silverstone's vlog. But stay tuned for Jack Silverstone's vlog. Because um, there might be a familiar face on that. Um, but I did get to see Skyforce. Didn't get to ride it, but uh, I did see Skyforce. And uh, it looked like it was running in good, in good condition. People struggling to get spins, I saw. But, uh, you know, that's the, the norm with Skyforce nowadays. Um... Yeah, I think Big Dipper had quite a big queue. I think I was going to try and do it at the end of the day after Icon, but I'd, so I'd just, I was too tired, so I just ditched it. Uh, I can always go back in the summer and do Big Dipper um, before the schools go out for, for the summer and uh, we get the massive hour-long, two-hour queues. Um, it was on a one-train service as well, which didn't help the operations personally, but... Um, yeah, obviously we got to see... We didn't get to do Ice Blast as well. I sort of didn't do Ice Blast and the Derby Racer and the Flying Machines and that whole area and the, obviously the Grand National being shut, Valhalla being shut. I'm sort of waiting till the summer so I can do that entire area and sort of do the whole entire complete area. So you've got the refurbished Valhalla, you've got Ice Blast, you've got Flying Machines, you've got Grand National. So try and do that whole area when it's open again in the summer along with of course the Enzo seats on Icon. Um, but overall, man, like, the atmosphere was great. You know, the enthusiasts were all really welcoming. Saw Tom and Stace, saw to Joe Beasley. Um, you know, it was great to see everyone there. And, um, you know, uh, Kaya and Dom. You know, Kaya, you may have seen Kaya in Amadits the Theme Park, Zoe's YouTube channel, uh, as well as her own channel as well. Go and check it out. It's brilliant. Um, you know, so many wonderful people there. And, um, you know, it'll be an opening weekend that I never forget. And I'll definitely be down to the opening weekend next season in 2023. Um, you know, I'm still, I'm thinking, you know, next season I might stay overnight. I might do a two-day one uh, next season. So uh, look out for me in 2023 because I might do an overnight one in Blackpool. But, um, but there we go. That is going to be it for this video, guys. Overall, Pleasure Beach, wonderful. Staff was brilliant. Staff was really welcoming. Staff was really friendly. You know, customer service was fantastic. And uh, overall, gets the big coast shell thumbs up from me. Uh, but there we are, guys. Thank you very, very much for watching this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an Amanda Thompson tastic day. See what I did there. Shout out to Amanda Thompson. Legend. I'm just this day I got out of bed and looked out of the big blue window and saw